they sure had a shot there at the end. Justin, you were the lead car. What was your thought? Yeah, um, first, I, I think, you know, leading all those laps, running wide open, um, we were just short on fuel. The 16, obviously, was running second for majority of that, too, and ran out. So, um, Hemrick was pretty mad here that it didn't push, but but it started stumbling out of four, so I got down to try to give him the best chance. And uh, yeah, I think just leading all those laps, just just short on fuel there. But uh, I got to thank Campers and RV, and I want to call Grayson for giving me the opportunity. Thought obviously we had it won, but um, yeah, things just don't work out sometimes. Daniel, we could see the frustration. Obviously, finishing second is never fun, but you also uh, you made a strategic move there on the choose. What was your plan? Yeah, I mean, I just, uh, we had a moment there come through lap traffic right before the yellow came out and got shuffled and ended up, uh, what, fifth or so coming to the choose. So I was either going to line up fourth row on the top, which is going to start eighth or start third. So um, if it would have put me behind my teammates, just picked the top lane, I would have done it, but it was put me, you know, fourth in that lane. So I had to go to the bottom, and um, I think we're all kind of struggling with fuel there. Obviously, me running third, majority of that run, I was able to save more, I think, than what Justin and uh, the 16 were able to. So, yeah, I was... Showed some super super amount of frustration there at the end when I got out of the car. I was just felt like we had I backed up to backed up to Jay there and, and thought I was gonna have to run down the front to at least give myself an opportunity to get the 20 back and and um, he pulled out a line. But I guess I guess I said his car stumbled on fuel too. So yeah, it's frustrating. Obviously uh, we all want to bring back colleagues some trophies and um, for sure let one get away here tonight. And Daniel, that all came after a leap that your team made. Your car wasn't great to begin the race, and then they worked on it. Yeah, uh, Jason Gentry, Chris Rice, everybody did a, a great job of you know grinding away on the circle Chevrolet to make it as good as it was. Um, clean air, obviously there for sure, taking right to that last stop, give us clean air. It's really similar to what we did, you know, back to the, the first race here this year. So um, that helped kind of band-aid the, the issues I was having a good bit, but we were just off on a little bit of travel or something because I was pretty sideways after about 10 or 15 laps. So. Um, why I probably couldn't be as aggressive as I wanted to there throughout, you know, the last 20 laps, um, even trying to hold the 21 off there for our organization. Um, man, but when the dust started to settle, I thought we were going to have an opportunity to do something special there. Hate it for Circle, wanted to 